In this video I'm going to show you how to create a Gantt chart. So the Gantt chart is to show you a timeline of the overall production schedule tasks. But you may not necessarily have used Google Sheets before, so I'm going to give you a quick overview. The first thing you should do is you should start to type each of the headings. And you put in the text and you click onto each of these cells. And you'll notice that each cell has a column and it's got a row. And then so it's a bit like a coordinate. So if I said, for example, D7 is the coordinate for this cell here, so D and then 7. But more importantly to you, you are going to write down each of the tasks as a quick summary from your production schedule that you did earlier. And then, if I just show you here in blue, you're going to write down each of the weeks. So that's what I'm just showing you in this particular example. You can do the normal things of making your text bold or italic or changing the colour or filling in the background and using borders. These are the tools that you should use just to personalise it. So if I click onto the number 2 here, I can right click on here and go to insert one above. And what that will do is if I need to shift everything down or above, then I can do that and it gives me an extra space in between because I might want to put in the, uh, the dates for each of the weeks so in this case the first week of the project I've said is the 3rd of February so if I put 03 forward slash 02 slash 2020 in this case and hit enter then that goes into there but what you'll notice is that I have also typed in some of the tasks and they don't quite fit into the cells. And what you can do about that is you can go and take the mouse pointer and then turn it into double arrow and you can see it's gone blue here. And if I double click, it will snap. And then that makes the text fit in properly for you. The other thing that's quite useful, some ARDA techers for you, if you click on B and then you drag all the way along, you can then put the mouse pointer in between one of these once again. And if you wanted to move it along a little bit, it increases the size of all of the cells at the same time. Remember, if you press Control Z, and then I can just undo any mistakes. Other things to bear in mind are that you would put into your Gantt chart a color to show how many weeks that particular task is. So if I select on a cell, go to the fill bucket, and then I click into the color, then obviously I fill it in that way. The other thing that I can do is that if I add in a selection, so notice how I'm clicking and dragging, click, hold down, drag, let go, and then I can go to, what I can do is I can go to this menu up here where it says borders, after making that selection and then I can go and use for example inside outside to put all of the cells within my selection. So start to build your Gantt chart as per your production schedule using these techniques.